<clears throat> morning, uh, afternoon, morning, wherever. <coughs> Good evening, in my case. How's everybody doing? Hey, Mike. So bits today, bits and smart list. All the bits. Let me just uh, this session is being recorded as usual. Okay, one of the things that we talk about with bits is the uh, volume. Now I'm actually going to take this trade two eight three three on bits two eight three three zero. Uh, we, we do have a bit signal on the five minute here. <clears throat> We've got another red candle now. And my correlation with ES is working out pretty well. So we've got this original bit signal here, 28330, the short with a 2843 uh, stop. Okay. Now, there is a slightly tighter um, entry here that's, that's actually forming right now. On my five minute chart also looks like a fifth wave move. On my three minute chart on the right hand side at the bottom, we've just entered the um, roller coaster short as well. You can see here I made 300 books earlier on this on, uh, on, on HG. And we've got a one minute um, forming um, on HG for a uh, breakout as well at 28340. So there's a lot of ducks lining up here. So let's give it a go. Um, okay, let me just. I, don't, I have. I did stop trading, to be honest. Um, so I'm just getting a few things set up properly. Okay, let's just get this out. Okay, the ding dings there are for alerts. I'm just getting the uh, smart list open for this. Hello, Frederico, Edith, Mike, Rob. Uh, I sell. I don't know what you mean, Jake. Last long price froze on what? On your smart list? On your chart itself? On bits? Um, right, on the smart list or actually on the chart? I don't, don't very much doubt it's on the chart. It's on the smart list, just can't, just close it and, and open it again from the website. On the chart, very strange. Uh, you may need to restart, whether it's TOS, Trade Station or whatever, you need, may need to restart that again. Okay, that's in. Stop for this just above the uh, point of control, 28430, oh, just there, okay. So let's just talk about uh, the, the smart list first. Hey, Cathy. Okay, this is just about bits today. I, try, I have to try and keep it uh, to, to task. Uh, sometimes a C wave may not may not show, but again, we're not trading C waves. We're trading the fifth wave. That's all we're trading. Okay, so don't get too het up about the ABC corrections. We are not trading those. We are trading the fifth wave move. So if it doesn't show, don't spend hours trying to find out why, because that's just a waste of your time. Yeah, you're just looking for those fifth wave moves and yet using the Elliott wave. Hey, Trevor. Uh, today we're talking about bits. So one of the ones, the first things, and the 
the smallest for bits. So when the smallest uh, pulls up, this is a five minute, for example, HG short 2833, that's the one we've gone in. Okay, and it gives you the entry stop loss and the target zones, okay? Now, <clears throat> that's just a signal. You still need to understand what's going off, yeah? Uh, so, <clears throat> these is my main sort of chart setup, if you like, with these four charts. So, this is HG. Top left hand chart is my five minute on the bits, okay? The bottom left-hand chart is the roller coaster and the Elliott Wave, okay, on the five minute. Right-hand top is the three minute bits, okay, and the right-hand bottom chart is the Elliott Wave and the um, roller coaster for three minutes, yeah. So what I'm gonna do first of all is just see how this is, I know this is behaving pretty well today and short, because I've already shorted it and made 300 bucks, yeah. Okay, I shorted this move with the inner circle down here. Okay, took it near the lows. It did pull back on a wave four. Now we've had a bits signal, okay, uh, short. We've had two bits signals on the five minute here. When it pulled back, my point of control reasonably held, okay, and it pulled back again. Um, we've just had the um, roller coaster, Enter short on the three minute on the bottom right hand chart. We've had a, a two minute bit signal uh, form as well. So we're getting a, little, and a 15 minute signal at 28325. Okay, so there's a, there's a lot, lot of things telling me there is uh, a lot of downward momentum here. We have got some problems down below. We've got the opening price, which it did actually bounce off earlier on the other move, okay? We've got the yesterday's high and yesterday's close. So this sort of zone that these levels are forming are, are gonna form support. So in this trade, we were about one to one to the bottom of that. So it's not gonna be a massive trade um, unless it actually goes hell for leather and 282 is the fifth wave target. But for me, I just want to add, if I can, a little bit, five or six ticks to that uh, earlier trade because we are getting later on in the session. Uh, things are going to drop down a little bit. But one of the things I want to also talk about about behavior is what are the indexes doing? At the moment, the correlation between copper and ES is very, very strong. So when ES goes down, copper goes down. ES is pulled back, copper's pulled back. Yes, there's that information with uh, that correlation, sorry, with um, with the US dollar. Um, but at the moment, when when this, um, when ES goes down, the US dollar goes up and vice versa. That's not the normal correlation, but this is what we've been in since pandemic started, uh, which allows that uh, correlation between copper uh, and uh, ES to exist right now. Uh, so that's what I'm also looking at as well. Uh, you know, the risk reward isn't fantastic. I'm just looking for a quick, a quick win, quick scalp and out. Sometimes though, we can, if I bring the two minute chart over, remember I traded this coming out of, um, let's just bring it back a little bit here. So, bring the two minute chart over. So I traded this um, two minute roller coaster this morning. It did pull back. I took the profits down there, the lows. It pulled back, but look what it did. A 2851 short entry on the bits, 2857. I went for a swim and a, and a hot tub at this point, but there was another opportunity after you'd taken that short little pullback, a bit signal 2851 to go short and continue that move down. We've had other pullbacks there now, but we are coming back down to this support. So this isn't gonna be a massive trade and we are relying on that ES to turn back around. Um, so remember also, when we're looking at bits, we're looking at volume, okay? So I just wanna go over and remind you that. So a red candle is a down candle with increased volume from the previous candle, okay? 
A cyan candle is a down candle, but with less volume than the previous candle. So that means it's running out of juice. So when we see this first signal given us in a red candle, then we get another red candle, the candle after, um, so we, we are looking pretty good, okay? Um, it looks good. We've got some further movement down. Um, we're below the point of control. Um, you know, we, we've had that red candle. We've had some cyan candles here. One green candle, one candle wonder. Then some downward movement with lower volume. Then we got increased volume, which gave us a signal. Then we had a little doji with lower volume. Then we had another nice full candle with, <clears throat> with higher volume. So, you know, the, the momentum is picking up to the downside. We've just had this rejection uh, doji here on lower volume because it's cyan. So it's less volume than that previous candle. And right now, we're having a little doji with lower volume because it's gray. Remember, gray is an up candle, but with lower volume. A green is an up candle with higher volume. Okay. <clears throat> so this bit is on a thing called SWIM. Okay, it is available. These, these points of control are available on all versions, whether it's trading view, trade station, or whatever. In the settings, you will see for your bits, these will be um, your EMA F, M, and S. Okay, you just need to make sure that the uh, they're enabled to see them. Okay, so remember, bits is all about um, a contraction in price action, but an increase in volume. So when we, we, you see, you don't get signals on these larger candles because the price action isn't contracted. When we get a contraction in price action like this candle, which is, um, you know, average or less than the previous 20 candles, then that's contracting in price action and we're increasing in volume. So it's like it wants to pop, okay? Um, it's like it's ready to burst. Uh, and that's what we're looking for for those signals. Um, I've already had a great trade today on, on HG and all I'm looking for now is just to add to it a little bit if I can. At this moment in time, this support is being held with low volume. So again, if, even if I'm not using bits to trade, I'm going to be using the bits color coding system on the candles to understand the, the, the behavior as far as volume is concerned. Okay. So I can understand what, what from one candle to a next, what sort of behavior is going on as far as price action and volume together. Remember on the course, as those who have attended live, we talk and I teach you about combining that price action and volume together, okay, to really get a good understanding of, um, of behavior. Did Matt make it in? Uh... Matt, 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 Matt. No, let me just um, go with me a sec, guys. Um. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. So remember, when you're, you can't just trade, I mean, you can just trade ES and gold, for example, but sometimes we get a bit rangy, there's not a great lot amount of signals, so we use the smart list to give us an indication of, especially with the bits, uh, you know, what's going for us, what, um, what, uh, what's increasing in volume, what signals are giving us to us, what direction, you know, so it gives us opportunities to trade currencies, metals, and indexes. So under bonds as well, and natural gas. You know, there's lots of opportunities. So, you know, you get those ding-dings, you take a look, you open up your chart, and then you can do your work on it. Is it good? Have you got enough fresh air? Is the risk to reward good enough? What's the, you know, what's the overall trend today? Where's the bias? Again, the bias indicator at the bottom here is red at this moment in time, so pretty strong. Okay, how to add volume. You don't need to add volume on, um, on 
think or swim if you've got these candles, if you've got the bits, because it automatically does it for you. If you haven't got bits, then obviously you won't get that information. You can add uh, here futures in a sub in a subgraph under futures under the cog. Uh, okay, you have bits. Then therefore, if you've loaded up bits, you will get these coloured candles. Okay, on, in the chat box, guys, you need to make sure you click all panelists and attendees so other people can see your questions. So when you've loaded up bits on TOS like this, okay, you need to make sure um, you've got everything really is checked down here just to make sure you can see it all and you, you'll see the volume, okay? If you wanna see the volume separate, if you click on the gear card and go to futures, show volume subchart and check that and click apply, then you'll see the volume down here, okay? As you can see right now, we've had that big volume move down on this red candle, okay? And then we're lowering volume. You see the volume petering off, tapering off on this move down. And now it's moving up on price action, but the volume's going down. As long as that volume's going down on this move up, it should run out of juice and turn back down again. Okay, but I, again, I, I know that. I don't need that volume subchart because I have the color-coded candles with bits. And I know how it works purely because I made the boot camp. You should be watching the boot camp. Uh, okay, so let's just get rid of that. Okay, let's have a look at stocks. Okay, I tell you what looks good. I'm already in FLR uh, on the bits. There's a bit signal on FLR at uh, short at 1070. Um, let me just turn on. You turn on and off the, the enable bits price bubbles. We'll just turn that on again. I'm already short on this one. Uh, quick glimpse of one of the stocks that I'm in. Um, for some reason, this is playing up. So with this, uh, I mean, this was a combination really Initially, I, I got the signal uh, on the roller coaster for the short, but I also had a bit signal right there at 11.21, okay? So I am short already FLR, uh, but there is another one setting up, that's already set up, sorry, at 10.75, okay? And there's quite a good, I mean, a, a good, the beauty of this is if you do go short in this on the bits and the trading stop starts to print from the roller coaster, you combine the roller coaster to actually help you manage the trade. Absolutely, works for futures, uh, indexes, uh, and oil and everything. Okay, so that's where we are with the FLR. I'm not looking at stocks of people right now, okay, because I don't have a great deal of time, okay, and to be honest, my inner circle pay me a lot of money to be uh, me looking at those stocks and stuff. So I won't be doing, uh, unless you pay me $250 per stock, I won't be doing <laughs> stuff. I won't be looking at stocks for you guys. I'll be just giving you examples and teaching you from what I'm doing right now. Okay. So it works on stocks. This is FLR. Uh, it just goes to show that this is a good uh, potential strategy. It did show that um, those indications for that moving down. So, um, one thing I've just been asked, does, does it work on uh, indexes? And of course it does. Let me just go to ES. This is ES on a five minute. Okay. Pretty big move on ES today. Hey Maddie.
Did we get any signals on yesterday? We did. <laughs> oh my God, it was a roller coaster that took us in on the 15 minutes. Just looking on different time frames. Didn't pull back enough. Now we've crossed. You see how the points of control on ES have now crossed. So we have a leading point of control within Cyan. We have a lagging point of control, which is in yellow. And the main point of control is a pink dot. So what's happened right now is that ES, um, the points of control have turned. The bias indicator is yellow for neutral. This is on the 30 minute time frame. So this is the three minute, but it's looking higher on the 30 minute time frame. This is going up, okay? This is going up. We are looking for bit signals to the upside, but this is quite a big candle, so it won't give us that right now. But we have the points of control turned over. So in theory, that bearish move could be over right now, we're not fully aligned on the five minute yet, as you can see. The, the main point of control is still out of sync. It should be in the middle of the leading and lagging. So we're still out of sync a little bit on ES. It's turned on the two and the three minute. Now, if it turns on the five minute, for me, that confirms we're going to have a deeper pullback against this bearish move. Okay, uh, In which case, this could come back and test uh, my support resistance zone, which is up here at 315.525. Okay, so this could be a quite a deep pullback um, on here. We're still um, on the roller coaster on the 15 minute on the middle chart. We're still in this short trade because we've still got that um, point of this uh, train stop, still, still printing. We're still in that trade, so we're still, still bearish. Um, but it's just interesting now to see. And again, these points of control help you understand that you'll see that the one minute, the two minute, now the three minute, the points of control have all aligned for potential bullish trades. Now, the five minutes not there yet, and I'd like to see that happen first. Then if you get bullish signals, bit signals to go long, the potential is you've got it all the way up to this support resistance zone here uh, to go for a long. So yes, it does work. Let's have a look at oil as an example. So with oil, you need it to, uh, with, with anything really on bits, once you have the big move, you need to pull back, find resistance in this case, in the points of control and for them not to turn over. Then when it comes back down, that's when you get the bit signal. Right now, uh, we do look like we're going to have a short, again, if this can hold, again, it goes up with, um, with the S at the moment, oil. See, there's a bit signal on oil right now, okay? But the bias is still yellow, which means the, the points of control on the higher time frame on the 30 minutes are still all messed up you know, like that five minute chart we looked at. Okay. So they're not bearish. They're not bullish. They're all, they're, they're in that neutral zone right now. So we wouldn't take this bullish signal on oil right now because our bias is neutral. We wouldn't take the long because our bias is neutral. We'd only take it when it is bullish. We haven't been bullish since before the open. Okay. And then we drop like a rock. And that was the signal of all signals right there. Okay, we got, <clears throat> this is what I mean by we have a move down. We come back and test the points of control. Our bias on this candle is bearish. We get a nice small candle, 4047 entry, 4059 stop, boom, okay? That is a massive trade, 40.47 down to 39.47, okay? That's 100 ticks on oil right there, okay? So answering your question, uh, Jenerine, this really does work, okay? But you need to understand what's going off. You need your bias to back you up. If your bias is bearish, 
you've moved nicely down, you've pulled back, you've tested the points of control for resistance, okay? Now you get the signal to go short, you've got a lot of fresh air underneath, okay? If fresh air is your target zones one, two, almost target zone three to yesterday's lows, okay? That's a decent risk to reward, you go short and it just plummets 100 ticks on oil there. So yes, it does work. Great trade. I'm actually annoyed that we missed that today, Matty. I'm really annoyed we missed that today. What time was that? We were still trading then, 15.55, which is my time, not your time. So I uh, missed that trade. That was a good one. You see, we tiptoe triggered into this, but now we were neutral. Now we've gone to book bearish again, okay? Now the candle's turning red. Did you see that turn red there, look? Okay, that means there's, incre there's more volume than the previous five minute, uh, three minute candle, and it's bearish, it's red, it's nearly a full candle, okay? So this is why we have to be sensible and understand. That's why we produce the bias for you, okay? Because we are in a situation where we've had a really big move down. We've pulled back up against there. For us to go long, our bias has to be bullish, okay? It's not turned bullish. It is neutral. Now it's turned bearish. It's coming back down again. And we could be getting a fifth wave short on uh, um, on oil here. I think I would like to be aligned on the. Um, we won't get a signal here, on, even on the five minute, for a short until the cyan leading point in control is below the lagging and the stop. So this has got to come back in the right situation to give us that signal. Okay, so not, yes, we've gone bias bearish and we're coming down, but we need confirmation our points of control to all be aligned. The stars have to be aligned for us to get in any short and for us, for the software to actually give you a signal as well. We'll just actually, where's that? Okay. Just going to pop one out. So you see, you can pop these out. You can have them on different time frames. You can change that to three minute. Okay. Uh, and NQ just gave us a three minute signal uh, on there. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, just move that out of the way. Just want to see if that gives us an oil in a little while. We'll see. No, you don't, Kathy. The smart list is a membership. Okay, the smart list, um, if you go onto the website, there's a website. It's under smart list here. You can choose either roller coaster or bits. There's roller coaster for futures, for stocks. And there's bits, they're memberships, they're monthly memberships. We pay a lot of money for data for this. Okay, $60 a year doesn't get you the 5K club. It's not gonna get you the world, okay? Uh, with, with this, we pay a lot for data. It's real time, real time signals, whether it's roller coaster, you know, on roller coaster, for example, we, um, we have all the, do all the different time frames again. We have all of those, uh, and again, same for the bits. You've just seen the bits here. You can access, if you subscribe, you can access the memberships and it gives you the signals live. You can choose from different time frames, uh, And, uh, you know, it's really, really good because you can't watch all the charts, okay? Even if you add five charts all on different time frames for the same instrument, you can't watch them. So if you've got something giving it ding, ding, ding in your ear, you're gonna look at that and you're gonna say, right, yes, uh, CL or whatever it is, let's have a look at the chart and it draws your attention to a potential trade. Okay. Mm. 
no problem. Oh, fifth wave move and a roller coaster. We just need a bit signal and we'll have the full house. I'm playing poker tomorrow, by the way, guys. Got that on my mind. Uh, we had a bit, we had a roller coaster trigger short and oil as well on the two minutes. That's really nice. That's really nice way for a pull back there. We just need everything to align on the points of control um, on this uh, for it to give us a bit signal. So this is why we're not getting signals right now because we're in that no man's zone, no man's land, if you like, where the points of control are. Uh, are changing over, but we need some more momentum to the downside if we get that move. Really depends on the indexes here. Indexes have gone quiet as well. Volumes really dropped off. It's not a bad thing if it can if it can turn and come back down. That volume should increase the downside. Uh, we just we're in that uh, lunchtime doldrums. The volume's quite low. <clears throat> Let's have a look, because it even works on the one minute, guys. So I'm going to pop it out here. I don't know if any of you scalp on the one minute. Can be quite exciting. Some people too exciting. Okay, there's a HG one minute short, for example. It was. Take a little time to uh, change over. Got a lot running. So even on the one minute here, you see these signals. That, that one, this one didn't trigger. You see, this one didn't trigger. It didn't go through the entry, it broke the stop, you just cancel it, okay? Breaks the stop, you just cancel it. This one triggered, hit the support zone, hit target two. Get, I mean, I usually get out of target two unless it flies, unless I get a runner. You know, one minute here, look, trigger, hit target two, out. So if you're one minute and you're using the bits, you're scalping, yeah? So you're literally in, target two, out. In, target two, just there, out. This one didn't trigger, okay? We had a long, but it took out the stop for the long, okay? So you can literally open a one minute chart, if you like, use the, uh, the, roll, the, the, the signal and just literally scalp. But when you're using the bits, the, the cyan dots, the first target zone. Second is the, 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 the uh, hashed orange, if you like, is second target zone, then the third, then the fourth, okay? So these are like risk rewards. The second target zone is a one-to-one. -one. And if you're scalping, one-to-one's great. Just keep banging them in, banging them in. Um, sometimes you just get an absolute flyer and it blasts through target four and keeps going. Uh, you know, for me, that's that's one of those flattened scenarios. Um, but it is... It, it, the bits is a scalper's dream on a one minute if you've got the mentality to do it. Um, but all I would say is, if you're going to do it, understand the main trend of the instrument. Uh, be very um, quick. Have your dome ready, if you like, and you're going to be in and out. You can't go to the toilet. You can't do anything like that. If you are going to trade the one minute bits... Uh, it is great uh, for scalping, but you've got to be there all the time. So let's look at gold, for example. 
Gold's usually pretty good on the one minute. Yeah, target two is one to one. Let's just talk about gold, shall we? Oh. Sometimes this um, the zoom doesn't go down, which annoys me really, so I can't actually scroll at the bottom of a chart. It is bloody annoying. Um, but that's the way it goes. So let's just go to where we are right now, work backwards and talk about uh, bits, signals. Okay, ooh, roller coaster long in right now. Okay, so uh, let's go back. So what we're gonna do as well is, how's the day going with a particular instrument? What targets are being hit? Okay, this one, target two was hit here, okay? Forget this one, you're already in this one, guys, okay? 18.042 hits the second target there. If it's a scalp, you're out. Okay, 12 ticks, 120 bucks. Okay, this one didn't trigger. This one didn't trigger. This one didn't trigger. Longs didn't trigger. This one did. Uh, to be honest, that's a big risk there. Uh, 18.0745 to an 18.0445. That's a $300 risk on a one minute scalp. It's no, no bueno. Okay. Um, this one's pretty good, uh, $200 risk. Uh, we, again, it's about the behavior. We broke down, we pulled up, we found resistance in this uh, points of control. We moved down, we got the uh, uh, entry at 18, 12, 10. Boom, it just shot down. These are one minute candles, guys, okay? 17.99 from 18, 12, that is a massive trade, okay? This is just huge, yeah? Um, that's a lot of ticks. So again, it's about understanding behavior. So we're, we're roller, we're, you know, we're roller coasting down, we come down, we pull back, you know, we look at, and again, when I talk about the boot camp, when I do that training that I do, look at this rejection on high volume, okay? So this is a tombstone, but it's got high volume because it's a red candle. Okay, it's not cyan with low volume, it's high volume. So it comes back up, test the point of control, then drops, okay? Then we get the signal, okay? Then we go short and it just keeps going. Does that make sense? You could literally sit in front of a one minute chart with a bit signal each day and trade. In fact, Inner Circle Monday, that's what we're gonna do. We're just going to take the one minute chart on gold or copper, whatever we choose, and we're just going to trade that one on Monday. How does that sound, Matt? Greg, I think you're, you're in here as well. Yeah, let's do it once a week. Let's do it Mondays. <laughs> Fun day, Monday. <laughs> We'll do the one minute, either we'll probably, we'll choose one and we'll go for it, but most likely gold. We'll do Monday fun day. Uh, usually, it doesn't matter as long as it doesn't break the stop, Frederico. Okay, as long as it doesn't break the stop for the order, the order's good, yeah? Because what happens is it starts to base, if you like, and find a really tight range. And remember, you're looking for the breakout either up or down on that range, depending on where that signal's come from. So it's, it's like, it's still contracting, if you like, in that range. You're just waiting for it to burst out in the direction where you have the trade. Uh, it's, Kathy, it's with my inner circle. My inner circle trade with me every day, uh, and that's twelve thousand dollars a year. So, and there's there's only there's fifteen or sixteen of them. Uh, so we trade every single day. Uh, we've done well today, uh, this week actually. We've 
Um, trade a lot of copper this week, done well on gold. 6B yesterday, the British pound was a flyer. Uh, so yeah, it's a different, it's totally different. Um, I don't run trade rooms, I just have an inner circle because we do stocks, uh, swing trading as well as futures and everything else. Uh, tonight, our minor circle, we have Greg, Matty, and that's all that's in here at the moment. Okay, so guys, hi Greg. So the, the idea is today was for bits and the smart list for bits, okay? The, I've gone through the volume, the bias, When's a good time to take those types of traits? Uh, now is the time for you to ask your question on bits, uh, on any of the mechanics of the, how the strategy works, how the trades work. If you're unsure of something, a setting like we did before or, or whatever, just just tell, ask now. That this is this is why I do these Thursdays, is so that I, we you know we can get these things answered for you. Um, and if if you know if it's not a Thursday and it's urgent. Put it on the Facebook group um, for Friday the fifth, and if I doesn't, I don't answer it. Somebody will do. Yeah, if the stop is hit, we cancel the trade. Okay, we cancel the order. Yeah. So right now on gold on the five minute there was a an order at one hundred eight oh uh, two. 35. It took out the stop before the order, we cancel. Yeah, got to be really strict with these rules, really, really strict. Okay, this trade still was take, the stop was taken out 105.45. Yeah, patience and strict. Yeah, bit like being a parent. Yeah, got to be strict, you got to have some patience in theory. coming back down now though okay so it could produce another signal so we just got to be patient and wait don't go too early and then just just give it time it could be the three minute that gives a signal it could be the two minute the main thing is on gold right now we're bias bearish we need all the stars to align to give us a an entry if you like to, to give us that uh, stop. So on the 15 minute bits, for example, we do have an entry. Okay, if I go big on this chart. Again, I can't scroll the bottom because of that. So this one, 15 minute, you'd go micro with this, there's a 500, $20 risk on a normal contract. So a $50 risk on one contract for micro. Um, so an 18016 entry, 18068 stop, the stop hasn't been broken, okay? So you will uh, have that opportunity if you wanted to trade the micros or take the risk on a larger to get an entry there. But again, look left, what have I got? I've got a massive rejection here, okay, today. At 1800, my risk to reward is only one to 0.5. I'm not going to go. Okay, Kathy, no problem. About risk to reward, looking left all the time. Okay, any more questions on this, guys? On the bits, bias, smart list for bits. Are we bullish bias on ES yet? No, we're still neutral. So we're printing potential trade here on three minutes, but we're still neutral, okay? So we're strict, we keep to the rules, we don't take the trade.
Okay, any more questions before I go, guys? Going to have my dinner. It's after 7 p.m. here. No more questions. Okay, you're welcome, Kathy. So I'm going to get going now, guys. The recording will go up at some stage tomorrow. You're welcome, Dennis, Jamie, Federico, Jay. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend. My weekend starts now because I don't trade tomorrow. I have a three day weekend. Don't trade Fridays. That's the rules, guys. Unspoken rules. See you, everybody.